What is up guys, Boop here and we're back with another video. Today we're going to be telling you how to shockwave or crash pad in every single variety in this new season. I've been looking at and volunteering a lot of pros and I've just noticed that a lot of them just don't know how to use the movement effectively. In this no launch pad meta, it is so important you guys know every single way to use your utility. So let's get started first with every single way you can use your shockwaves. The first way is quite simple. You have a half edited floor and a ramp below that half edited floor. The person with the shockwave stands in the middle. Both players stand on either side and run into you. And then you throw the shockwave at the ramp. As you saw in the previous clip, it's really important that your teammates start running into the player with the shockwave because this keeps you guys together and compact so that you guys can box up together when you land. The second way is the corner or diagonal shockwave. Basically, you have a three edited floor and a cone that is edited towards you. You throw it at the middle, your teammates run into you, and you guys land together. If you guys are in a hurry, then you can place a ramp rotated backwards. All your teammates stand on top of the ramp, play with the shockwave in the middle, the two players running into the player with the shockwave, and then you throw it at the little corner, and you go straight. Now on to shockwaves and bouncers. To do a diagonal shockwave and bouncer, you can place a ramp underneath your entire team. The player with the shockwave is in the corner. You place a bouncer on the floor and you throw the shockwave right at the bottom of the ramp and it should send your team flying together diagonally. Another variation of this is just doing it with a floor by placing a bouncer on the floor and you throw it at the corner with the player with the shockwave in the middle. You also get sent diagonally. This one sends you a little bit further, but it's a little bit harder to stay together. If you want to shockwave straight, you can also do this variation to shockwave straight behind you. Just stand in a line parallel to the wall and throw it at the floor. To get a little bit more elevation, you can also place a bouncer on top of a ramp and then throw the shockwave at the ramp and this sends you guys flying pretty far. This variation can also be done with a crash pad for similar results. The last and final thing that you can do with a crash pad and a bouncer is this interesting height retake. Basically, when you're cheap tunneling across the map, you stop between two ramps and two walls. You throw the crash pad at the opposite wall, place a bouncer behind you, run into the bouncer, and the crash pad sends you flying up to height. This can be done as a solo or as a duo and can be really effective at taking height when you're front side of first moving zone. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you learned something or this helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Follow me on Twitter and a special thanks to the following people for helping me out and trying out all these tactics. Have yourself a good one and goodbye.